hello guys welcome to our channel once again today we will see the file download using ADF so let's see how we can download the file from FTP location using Azure Data Factory but what I have done is I have figured out one um, public site which allows testing the FTP location so that we can do this experiment now here it has a URL uh, and username and password all three things are provided and if you go to this link you can actually see few files are there which we can use for testing our Azure Data Factory so let's go ahead and see how we can configure it uh, first thing you have to do in your data factory is you have to create a new link service you click on new and you find out FTP you will find this SF one FTP and one SFTP select the FTP say continue and then you have to tell the host name so this host name you can copy directly from here this is your host name go here apply you keep uh, port number as is you have to disable this what I have figured it out that if you don't disable it, it was not working so I'll keep the authentication mode as basic because you have a username and password you just copy this username and a password so it is also possible that your uh, FTP location allows anonymous if, if that is anonymous supported then you can select anonymous instead of basic here we have a username password so i'll select that click on test connection and it should succeed you can create it i have already created it so i'm just cancelling it out and i have and be using this ftp server which is configured exactly the same way now next thing you have to do is you have to create two data sets so one data set is for ftp server and here you are going to use the same link service we just now created this will come automatically you have to provide the directory and the file name in this case uh, we, direct, we directly have a file we do not have any directory so I am keeping this open and blank now I am going to copy this file which I am going to download into my lake so you can choose any of the destination of your choice and I am also giving it a name first file dot csv because it's a csv file now once you have these two data sets available you just simply go to your pipeline create a copy activity in the source you select the data set which you created for ftp not not for the lake it should be your ftp one and here i'm just keep leaving the rest of the things as is so it's a uh, it's going to be binary transfer okay now go to sync and here this is a data set which i created for uh, my lake now the important thing here is if if you are downloading a zip file then you can say flatten hierarchy what it will do is it will unzip and uh, copy unzipped version to your sync location because here i am downloading csv i'll just keep it none okay. so now we are all ready and we are ready to execute so once you execute it, I have already executed it, so I can show you. This is the location. This is the location where I downloaded first uh, file.csv. And you can even see it, it's a, just a sample file. Yeah. Yeah. So if I come back to my data factory, I can see this succeeded. You can even open and see how much data it has. See, it's a 390 bytes it has downloaded. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks.